Hi and welcome to C Sharp Customer Billing System. So let me show you guys how this works. We can click on exit. No, we don't want to. We can print. There you go. We can save and we can reset. Okay. So let's reset and you see how the whole system works. Now we enter some stuff in there. And let's say the name is Johnny. Johnny Echo. An address of Johnny Echo number 17 is a road. Okay. And postcode, let's see, do state and mobile number email address of j echo so j echo at gmail.com nationality we just enter nigerian and date of birth of echo 19 october yes yeah, something like that an ID, let's say Johnny Echo is a pilot himself, he's male, and in his double room. And what does he want? He wants those. He must be very angry. Yeah, there we go. Right there. So, all we need to then do is to click on the cost there, we go. and that's it. So, what I'm going to do now, guys, is to take you guys straight into C Sharp development environment and we'll put one of these together. Let's do that now, guys. Hi, and welcome to C Sharp tutorial of a customer billing system. I'm going to start by clicking on new project. Now that the new project dialog is ready, we select C Sharp right there and let's select Windows Forms application. And right there I'm going to give my project a name so let's call it CS underscore customer underscore billing there we go click on OK now that the form is ready I'm going to click on the property and define the size of this form I'm going to go for 1386 by 800. The next thing I'll do is to enhance the color, the back color. Right here, let's select the color. And I'm going to go for web. Scroll right down. And here, let's choose. I'm going to choose um, powdered blue. Right. Okay, that's a part of blue and the form, the, the text on this form, let's change that to customer billing. There we go. And let's add the following. Let's come to the tools and here we add a panel let's look for panel there we go draw the panel there okay i will now copy this panel across so let's click on it and just copy it oh first of all let's change the back color of this let's come in here change the back color of that particular panel to candidate blue and i will now copy it again change this one back to powdered blue right there yeah that's good and now let's copy this very one click copy undo that we need to copy the where the whole thing yeah and one more be all right 
right there now the next thing I like to do is to add a database let's go to tools connect to database and right there let's, let's browse for the data itself and there we go select customer click on open I'm going to get rid of this administrative user and let's test the database and make sure it works there it's working fine click on ok let's click on ok again ok the next thing is I need my data source let's go to view and right there I'm going to look for all the windows and come right up here that's, that's it data source click on data source there we go and now let's click on add new data source yeah click on next next and there the database is there let's click on next again all right this dialog just saying the database will be saved inside the project folder click on yes and then we click on next again select the table click on finish I'm right there so let's drop this down I'm not gonna use the details all the data grill I'm going to copy them individually just copy that drag that and paste it right here okay there we go and this first name will be the same thing so name and so on so I'm going to speed that up and get back to you guys shortly okay with uh, nationality I'm going to change that to combo box drag drop there and the same thing will be repeated for one or two more of those ones okay with type change that to combo box again drag and drop gender combo box drag and drop then type will be combo box as well drag it and drop it there we go and now let's repeat the same thing here you see this very one here so those are the cakes click hold drag yeah coffee so there's not going to be any there's not going to be any changes here so that's fine yeah that's Asian cake Kenya cake Moroccan cake out in healed cake and there we go that's nice right you see right underneath here I'm gonna create another let's add the panel here draw that much let's change the back color of that very panel to candidate blue and I'm going to grab this tax one, two, and three. There we go in total. There, so that's fine. Okay, now the next thing I like to do is you see right here, this very one, I need as follows. Let's go to the toolbox right inside the toolbox I need that's going to be tab control let's go to tab, there we go grab that just paste it here yeah you see the tab control I'm going to change the back color of that very tab control to let's see let's come back in here again select that and come into background I'm going to change that to candidate blue where is it there and the second one will be changed to candidate blue as well let's 
select it candidate blue right let's see there we go and then let's change the, the details let's then the calculate and the other one will be reset there's content on that keep okay, on back in the again so like that and make that reset Okay, so let's add another panel there. Grab and just draw. And change the color to candidate blue. Right. And this panel, I will now add the following. Let's look for buttons we need four buttons there one and let's change this color of the button first change it to candidate blue as well that color will be candidate blue for that very button Okay, that those are the buttons. All right, I'm now going to copy this. Let's copy that. Well, let's see. Maybe no. Let's change it. We we'll change it to instead of candidate blue. We'll make okay. That's that looks a bit alright. Okay, let's copy it across anyway. Let's copy everything there. Hold on to the control and just click and drag. I'm going to drag it across. Click, drag over here. Right. So that is fine. Move this up a little bit. Okay. So all I'm going to now do is just to enhance the look of this project and I'll get back to you guys I need to increase the colors and so on oh before that let's add some buttons here for the calculator okay here we need we need a receipt here which text box here good and for the calculator we need a text box text box here I'm just gonna copy these buttons and change it around hold on to the control copy and drag it up drag it up here yeah. click drag and okay right so what I'm going to do now is just to enhance the look of the whole system. Then I'll get back to you guys shortly. Right, let's do that. Okay, this is how it looks like now. Though nothing is happening yet. I still need to sort of like tidy up a little bit more. So I'm going to come in here anyway. Um, okay, I need print document. Double click on that. And I also need print preview. Right, those two are there. Let's get one more panel and just drag it right here. That will be for these payments, whatever. Okay. 
we're gonna make, move it up a little bit and just change the color as well. Candidate blue, and I need a text box on it. I'm gonna come in here, just copy something from here. Let's get a label on it. I need a label on it. Click copy, paste it there. Enhance that label and just give an enter. Okay. Total wrong. There's a tax and total cost. Okay. Of maybe items. Yeah, something like that. And let's in enhance the size. So I'm gonna make that let's say maybe twenty and let's see. Yeah, let's move it back a little bit more. Okay, and up a little bit. We change the color for that font. We change it to maybe control light light. Come down here and yeah, control light light. Right. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's select this print preview and go to the properties. Let's change the document type to print documents. That is sorted. Okay, you're gonna have to do that for the rest as well. And this print itself, I'm just going to double click on that and enter print preview dialog that shows something like that. Double click, and that's going to be print preview. Print, let's see, the name is not appearing. Where is it? Print preview. Let's grab the name. Copy that. Let's do that again. Print preview dot. I should be show that look something like that. Should be there. Yeah, that's it. So enter parentheses and there. Okay, let's enter a line of code onto the print document here itself that is it double click on that and right here we enter as follows okay so let's come down there there right and the other thing is we declare the following variables right up here those variables are going to be needed so let's run it now and see how it looks like there we go. So I'm going to enter whatever data in here and try out this print function. Click on that. There we go. There. You see that, guys? So the print is working. So with that, guys, I'm going to call it the end of the very first part of this tutorial, and I'll see you guys shortly.